Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sunny from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am back again with a very interesting topic on your Asa chatbot in which we are going to cover like what is two-stage fallback policy and how exactly it is working with your Rasa chatbot. So let's get started and let's understand how to exactly do it or let's say how to exactly integrate it with your Rasa chatbot. So let's get started. So here you can see uh, this is a Rasa project in which I'm having a chatbot already made as per this fallback policy right so here you can see there is a fallback policy which I have already applied and we have already seen it in the previous session where we have covered this part for your fallback policy and now let's see what exactly it is working right so let's see what is the working of it so for now we will see like how exactly this fallback policy is working and why do we need this two-stage fallback policy right so for that let me just show you how exactly it is working and then we will shift to that part right so for that let's just uh, make it run okay so here you can see uh, I have run it in the rasa shell in the debug mode so let's just check it right so here you can see it is asking you for the assistance so let me say something that is out of scope or let's say let me say some phrase that is not inside your rasa chatbot right so for that let me just say i want a glass of water so what happens here just because this intent which i have specified here this doesn't belongs to the chatbot which i have made here so just because of it it has called this action fallback policy just because it hasn't met the threshold value which we have set here for your nlu threshold right so that is the reason it is not going as per the stories and instead it is calling this action default fallback right but now what is happening is like if in case I want to call the fallback directly the, at that time it's okay we can directly use this fallback policy but if in case I want to ask few questions before calling this fallback right so at that time what I have to do I have to switch to the two stage fallback policy because that offers you few questions before going to the action fallback right so this is how exactly uh, it is being used and this is the main reason why we are going to use or let's say we are going to switch to this two stage fallback policy right so let's just understand and let's just create it as per the two stage fallback policy right so just close it and for here inside the configuration file what you have to do you have to just change it as per the two stage fallback policy right and for that I am having this two stage fallback policy already with me so let me just add it here instead of writing this right so just add it here now let me just explain you what exactly it is uh, doing over here right so right now what i have written is i have written two stage fallback policy so i have written the threshold uh, level for your nlu as well as for core so i have written it as 0.3 so i can also change it as per my chatbot so this is totally up to me now these are the actions which is uh, being called when your uh, threshold value is not met if in case nlu threshold is not met it will call this one if the core threshold value is not met it will call this part but before calling this action default fallback or any of the custom fallback it will ask you few questions so there will be two questions the first one is asking you for the affirmation that whether the intent whether the uh, message that the user have entered that belongs to this particular intent value or not if that belongs to that it will go as per the story otherwise if in case you are saying no or let's say if you are denying to that at that time it will ask you to rephrase that right so if in case you want to rephrase the message at that time it will put up another question for you but still if you don't want to uh, rephrase that part then it will go to this action fallback whether it is a default fallback or you have used the custom fallback right so this is how exactly your two stage fallback policy is going to work now uh, let me just make this uh, as per the stories and domains also because we have to make the changes there as well right and also the last thing is deny suggestion so if in case uh, you want to uh, ask for this second part like i said 
I have two options when this affirmation and the rephrase part will come because that is going to be shown to you as a buttons, right? So in that case, you will be having two options. One, uh, one is as per the story and the second one will be uh, anything, right? And that anything is like this one, deny suggestion intent name. So if in case you are denying to that, so what does that mean? If you are using the deny part, that means is going to this out of scope, right? So what we have to do is let's just copy this part just because by default it is out of scope. So I'm just copying this part and I'm just adding it here, right? So I have added here, right? So this is how I have done this part. Similarly, just because your affirmation and your rephrase part will come. So for that, what we have to do, we have to add the attractions in the domain file as well, right? Like in this case, you can see I have already written two values, but uh, for now I have commented them. So let's just uncomment these parts, right? So when I'll be uncommenting this part, what will happen is by default, when your uh, utter default ask affirmation will be called at that time, it will automatically go to this part. If in case it is going for the rephrase part, then it will automatically go for this part. So this is how exactly your two stage fallback policy is going to work. And with respect to that, it is going to call these actions. So first one is ask affirmation and the second one is ask rephrase. So this is how exactly it is going to work. But in the current scenario, you can see in the case of fallback policy, what happens is it was calling this part utter default where you have seen this message. Sorry, did not understand. Please try again. So this was the message which you have got in the case of fallback policy. But now you're not going to get that. Instead, you're having these two options. So these are going to be come in that case. Getting my point? Right. So just because these are the by default actions, so you don't have to specify them inside this actions. So we don't have to add it there. Now let's move ahead and let's see what we have to do further, right? So this one is done in the case of stories. Uh, you don't have to specify anything just because it is automatically being called, right? And as per that, in the case of NLU, we don't have to specify anything, right? So everything is done from my side and you have set up this two stage fallback policy, right? So the only thing that I have to do now is to just train your model and to test whether your two stage fallback policy is working as per your requirement or not, right? So for that, let's go to the terminal again and just run the command again, this Rasa train and Rasa shell. Okay, so the model is trained and your Rasa shell is working here. Now let's do one thing, let's say hi. So for the case of hi, everything is fine and everything is working as per the flow and also the confidence level is very good. So that is the reason it is going as per the stories and you have got the output as, hey, how may I assist you? But now I want to say something that is not as per the intent or let's say if in case that intent will be classified then the confidence level will be very low so definitely it is going to this fallback policy right so for that let's say i want a glass of water so this time you can see this time it didn't show me this message which we have seen before and the message was sorry didn't understand instead it has called this part right utter ask affirmation did you mean something any of the bot underscore challenge right so right now it is asking you that whether this is a bot challenge or something else so if in case this is yes then it will go as per the stories but if in case that is not the bot underscore challenge then you can say no for this and when i said no it is going to this utter ask rephrase and as per that it is asking me to rephrase that again right so let's say i want to Okay, let's say, tell me my subscriber count. Okay, 
so you can see this time it is working as per the story right so you have seen this is the way how you can use your two stage fallback policy with your rasa chatbot i hope everything is very clear to you and now you can apply it into your project right so this is the way how you can do that but still if you are facing any kind of a difficulties in any of the topic regarding what i have said today then you can definitely leave a comment below in the comment section also if you have liked this video then do click on the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then do click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any kind of a videos from my side till then bye bye and happy learning